Hello, Power BI developers. Today, I'll explain how you can retrieve value or values of a slicer being selected by your user. We will create a measure or DAX utilizing the selected value function. But before that, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever there is new upload. So, let's get started. In Power BI, a slicer is a visual element that allows users to filter data by selecting specific values. The selected value function is a DAX function that helps retrieve the selected value from a slicer. To use the selected value function, you need to follow these steps. First, identify the name or reference of the slicer you want to retrieve the value from. Second, in the formula bar of Power BI Desktop, type or select the column or measure where you want to use the selected value function. Third, Write the formula using the selected value function. The syntax is as follows. Selected value, column, measure, default value. The column, measure argument is the name or reference to the column or measure where the selected value will be retrieved. The default value argument is optional and specifies the value to return if no value is selected in the slicer. If omitted, it will return a blank value. And finally, press enter to evaluate the formula. The result will be the selected value from the slicer. By implementing the selected value function correctly, you can dynamically fetch the value of a slicer in Power BI, allowing you to perform further calculations or filtering based on the user selection. Remember, the selected value function is only applicable when a single value is selected in the slicer. If multiple values can be selected, you may need to consider alternative approaches or functions such as values or selected value.